virtual events. And uh, again, we saw a mix of charities. Uh, there were some who, you know, took it on. Okay, fine. You know, we still got a fundraise. We're going to go virtual. Let's figure this out. And they actually saw amazing success right through the whole COVID scenario. And then, yes, as things were still confusing, things are opening up, not opening up, a lot of them chose to continue staying virtual. And uh, now at this point, as things are opening up, uh, we have hybrid solutions and a lot of charities who went virtual are choosing to now go hybrid because they don't want to let go of that virtual channel. They are figuring out that, hey, our donors could be anywhere and we'd rather have them join uh, no matter how uh, they're joining, whether they're joining from home or whether they're joining in person. And uh, they've been seeing some amazing success. We're seeing about maybe 20 to 30 percent of funds getting raised through the virtual channel and charities don't want to let go of that. Um, so I would say hybrid is the new norm that we are starting to notice. Uh, again, it's been a mix <laughs> where uh, people who are uh, courageous enough are going hybrid. Others are still sticking to in-person, but we keep telling our charity, hey, try it out. You might see amazing success.